the biggest time of the year for sports betting. NCAA tournament time, March Madness, the Big Ten tournament underway this weekend. Northwestern and Illinois, two of the favorites. And the sports book next to Wrigley Field is open just in time. $100 on the Chicago Cubs to win the World Series this year. Former Bear Kyle Long was actually drafted as a pitcher by the White Sox in high school, but the first official bet at the new sports book adjacent to Wrigley Field has to be on the Cubs. I think the odds were pretty good, so I had to uh, get after it. If the Cubs win the World Series, Long stands to win a couple thousand dollars. But the operators of DraftKings Sportsbook stand to win big also, getting the go-ahead from the gaming board to open just in time for the NCAA tournament, March Madness, as well as the start of the Major League Baseball season. The Cubs open the season in less than two weeks. We're really excited to be open now, you know, for the start of opening day, the baseball season, as well as March Madness. The sports book also features a 2,000 square foot screen above the bar and restaurant that can show one or a couple of dozen sporting events at a time. When they opened last June, that was the main feature. But starting today, they now have betting windows open as well. It's pretty cool. I like, I like the setup. You know, the atmosphere is pretty nice, so it's not too shabby. Of course, there are lots of options for sports betting these days. DraftKings is counting on the social atmosphere as well as the location adjacent to Wrigley Field to draw fans to the experience here. Anna Jaja is here with family to bet on the Big Ten tournament. And I'm going for the deal. Hopefully they'll win. Americans are predicted to bet about $3 billion on March Madness, the NCAA tournament. That's nearly twice as much as was bet on the Super Bowl, according to the American Gaming Association. DraftKings here just happy to get part of that action. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.